Money. It's important for our daily lives, but in retirement it becomes even more important as our quality of life will depend on how we've used our money during our strong working years. Picture this. You, with the sun beating on your skin, sipping a tropical drink by the beach, or taking a cruise across the med, hopping from country to country without worrying what day of the week it is. Sound fun? Well, as with any dream, there's groundwork to be done to make it a reality. So, before you swap your business suit for a bathing suit, or your work desk for a deck chair, there's a financial foundation that's essential. Just as you wouldn't set sail without checking your ship, let's ensure your financial vessel is seaworthy. It's all about preparing today to enjoy tomorrow. I'm Will, and I teach people about investing, personal finance, and money. I've walked the path you seek, and today I have several businesses and investments that provide me income every single month, meaning I never have to work another day in my life. If you plan on becoming financially free, be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the like button if you find this video valuable. So here are the five things you need to know about money before retirement. Number one, benefits from catch-up contributions. Now you may be nearing the golden age of 50, or perhaps you've already crossed that milestone. While many might consider this a time to slow down, in the financial realm, it's an opportunity to shift gears and supercharge your savings journey. You see, there's this fantastic provision called catch-up contributions. Think of it as a financial booster shot, specifically designed for those who hit the 50-year mark. It allows you to contribute significantly more to various retirement plans than you previously could. For instance, as of 2023, the cap for contributions to your 401k, 403b, federal thrift savings plan, and most 457 plans has seen a generous bump up. You can now add $7,500 more than before. Those who are diligently maintaining traditional IRAs or Roth IRAs aren't left out either. The annual contribution limit for these accounts has increased to $6,500, making a small jump from the previous $6,000. And for those who appreciate the dual benefits of health savings accounts, offering both medical financial support and tax advantages, there's good news too. Once you reach the age of 55, you're eligible to pump in an additional $1,000 annually. In essence, age doesn't just bring wisdom, it brings a golden ticket to amplify your retirement savings. So if you're in this age bracket and haven't started leveraging these catch-up contributions, there's no better time than now. After all, it's not just about saving, it's about making your savings work harder and smarter for you, ensuring that your retirement nest egg is as robust as it can be. Number two, investments and risks. Before you reach your retirement, there's this important shift that needs to take place in your investment mindset. It transitions from aggressively chasing growth to more of a protective stance, ensuring the preservation of the wealth you've accumulated over the years. Now this change in strategy shouldn't be mistaken for an overly conservative approach. It's not about building a fortress around your money and watching it stagnate. The reality is that your retirement could span several decades and your finances need the stanima to support you throughout. Thus, while it's prudent to be risk-aware, it's equally important not to stifle the potential for your assets to grow. The goal is to find that sweet spot where you're content with your risk level, neither losing sleep over market fluctuations nor watching your money's purchasing power erode over time. In this dance of balancing risk and reward, there is also another vital consideration, the dilemma between investing more or chipping away at lingering debts, such as your mortgage. It's a crossroads many face, and while there isn't a universally correct direction, the decision's weight is undeniable. Investing might offer potential growth, but paying off debt provides a guaranteed return in the form of interest saved. Number three, prioritizing tax diversification for investments. Now, you may already have heard about diversifying investments. However, there is another crucial layer of this strategy, tax diversification for investments. It's not just about spreading your money across various assets, but also how these assets are taxed. According to financial experts, possessing a mix of accounts, each with its distinct tax implications, arms you with the power to dictate how you generate income in retirement. 
More importantly, it opens avenues to potentially reduce your tax liabilities. Imagine having multiple levers at your disposal, each affecting your taxable income in a different manner. There are different types of accounts that can form this diversified tax portfolio. Traditional instruments like the 401ks have their merits offering tax deductions now with tax deferred growth. However, when withdrawals are made in retirement, they are taxable. On the flip side, Roth IRAs might not give you an immediate tax break, but their withdrawals in retirement are typically tax-free. And then there's the taxable investment account, a more flexible option. While it doesn't provide the upfront tax benefits like the previous accounts, it does give flexibility in terms of accessing funds without age-related penalties, making it an essential piece of the tax diversification puzzle. In this case, here is a great tip for those entering the empty nester phase. With children moving on to their own adventures, the Health Savings Account, HSA, emerges as a standout tool, not just for its primary purpose of covering medical expenses, but as a retirement planning asset. Its triple tax advantages, tax-deductible contributions, tax-free growth, and tax-free withdrawals for qualified medical expenses make it a stellar addition to your tax diversification toolkit. In short, diversifying your investments from a tax perspective isn't merely a defensive play against market uncertainties, it's a strategic move to harness the intricacies of the tax code, maximizing your retirement income and minimizing the share that goes to Uncle Sam. If you're enjoying this video, I'd really appreciate it if you'd smash that like button, as it really helps the channel. Thanks. Number 4. Assessing Your Retirement Readiness how do you know you're truly ready for retirement? Well, the key to determining your retirement readiness lies in an honest and thorough assessment of your financial landscape. The first step is understanding your potential expenses during retirement. It's not just about big ticket plans like that grand European tour. It's also about the day-to-day, -day, the monthly utilities, groceries, and even those occasional treats and gifts for the grandkids. Once you have a clear picture of the outflow, the next task is to evaluate the inflow. This means cataloging all potential sources of income in your golden years, from your pensions and social security to dividends from investments. You're essentially creating a balance sheet for your retirement. On one side, you have the expenses you anticipate, and on the other, the income you expect. The aim is to ensure the scales tip favorably. However, the reality isn't always rosy. Sometimes there's a chasm between what you have and what you need. Spotting this gap isn't a cause for panic, but it's a wake-up call. Recognizing this discrepancy early allows you to devise a strategy to bridge the difference, ensuring that your retirement isn't just feasible, but comfortable. Feeling a tad behind in your preparations? Well, it's never too late. The path to retirement isn't a sprint, it's a marathon. There might be moments of lag, but with the right moves and strategies, you can still catch up. The crux, however, is to act decisively and promptly. Postponing planning could narrow your options and reduce flexibility. In short, this approach underscores the importance of being proactive. Assessing retirement readiness isn't about predicting the future, but preparing for it, ensuring that when the time comes, you're not just ready to retire, but ready to thrive. Number 5. Avoiding Consumer Debt Consumer debt, especially credit card debt, is a financial quagmire that's deceptively simple to wade into, but notoriously challenging to escape. Those shiny plastic cards might seem harmless, but the high interest rates attached to them can tether you to a seemingly never-ending cycle of payments. Miss a few and you'll see the repercussions reverberate in your credit score for years to come. Your credit score isn't just a number, it's a testament to your financial behavior and credibility. A blemish on this record can hinder significant milestones in your life. Dreaming of owning a home? A tainted credit score can either deter lenders entirely or subject you to unfavorable loan terms, leading to exorbitant interest payments over time. The same holds true for other major loans, like those for cars. Now, the repercussions don't just end with interest rates. 
a stellar credit report can open doors to opportunities and benefits, from lower insurance premiums to better rental terms and even certain job prospects. Over a lifetime, maintaining an impeccable credit score can translate to massive savings, eliminating the need to overpay due to unfavorable rates. However, it's essential to acknowledge that while the ideal scenario is to steer clear of consumer debt entirely, life isn't always that linear. Financial missteps, emergencies, or lack of knowledge might have already tethered you to such debts. If that's your current scenario, it's crucial to recalibrate and prioritize clearing those high-interest debts. Doing so isn't just about repairing a credit score, it's about reclaiming your financial freedom. If you've enjoyed watching this video, why not check out this video next on 5 Dividend Stocks That Can Earn You $30,000 Per Year. And remember, money doesn't buy happiness, it buys freedom.